Former President Bill Clinton says the right wing is weaker now than it was when he was president. How do you explain the birthers, the deathers, and the tea partiers? Not to mention Glenn Beck. Our third story on the countdown, the 42nd president invokes the vast right wing conspiracy, except according to Mr. Clinton, it's not so vast anymore. Former President Bill Clinton speaking on Meet the Press, defending President Obama and sounding off against right wing attacks, all went well and good, except Mr. Clinton claims conservative ire is just as toxic as it was in the 90s. It's just not as strong. Your wife famously talked about the vast right-wing conspiracy targeting you. As you look at this opposition on the right to President Obama, is it still there? Oh, you bet. Sure it is. It's not as strong as it was because America has changed demographically, but it's as virulent as it was. I mean, they're saying things about him. You know, it's like when they accused me of murder and all that stuff they did. The, but it's not really good for the Republicans of the country what's going on now. I mean, they may be hurting President Obama. They can take his numbers down. They can run his opposition up. But fundamentally, he and his team have a positive agenda for America. Their agenda seems to be wanting him to fail. And that's not a prescription for a good America. Unfortunately for Mr. Obama, the right wing has not only survived, it has thrived and expanded. Case in point, the story of two black students in Illinois beating up a white student on a school bus. The Drudge Report trumpeted the story on its front page, white student beaten on school bus, crowd cheers. Rush Limbaugh ran with that and said the incident was part of Obama's America. And then Fox News echoed the Drudge Limbaugh talking points throughout the day. And who can forget the mythical death panels after GOP fearmonger Betsy McCoy floated the concept of fake euthanasia. Sarah Palin warned of government death panels on Facebook. Senator Chuck Grassley fed into the fear, raising the specter of pulling the plug on grandma, with Limbaugh, Beck, and Hannity providing a constant echo on death panels. Mr. Clinton, we have some 21st century news for you here. The vast right-wing propaganda machine is not shrinking, it is growing. Joining me now is managing editor for Crooks and Liars and author of Eliminationists, How, right, how the Right Wing Hate Radicalized the American Right. Dave Nywert, good evening, sir. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Lawrence. Now, for half of the Clinton presidency, Fox News, which supplies most of these talking points and keeps them running all day, did not even exist. How can President Clinton really try to claim that the right-wing propaganda machine has somehow gotten weaker when it's expanded exponentially? Well, I, I think that maybe he's maybe thinking of the actual power that the American right holds in the country right now. I mean, obviously, they're pretty much out of power right now. And from 94 on, that wasn't the case for him. Uh, however, I think that what's really, it's really striking and, and actually a really useful uh, comparison contrast sort of thing is to look at, you know, what was happening to him uh, and compare it to Obama at this early stage in his presidency. Um, you know, the complete sort of wing nuttery that's coming out of the, the right right now, you know, the belief in things that are provably untrue and, and uh, all kinds of bizarre conspiracy theories. This was something that didn't really start happening to Clinton until about 94 or 95, and it didn't certainly didn't happen on a massive basis until like 98 or 99. And we're seeing this already in the first year of Obama's presidency, and it's happening on a much larger scale than it happened to Clinton. So so I think that it's kind of an inept comparison or at least an inept claim on his part. Now you, you could argue that Bill Clinton gave uh, his attackers some openings by having to admit to certain sex scandals and having so many rumors about right. other things like that. Uh, Barack Obama has given them no such opening in any way and uh, is that why they revert to things like death pan imagining death panels and, and, and just pulling things out of thin air? 
Yeah, they pretty much have to. I mean, it's obvious that they're going to try to uh, sort of oppose him any way they can and, and undermine him and attack him any way they can. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we started hearing right away that he was planning to take away our guns, which was, you know, one of the big things that they brought up about Clinton. And it was part of a large part of what fueled the militia movement and, and the sort of paranoid black helicopter crowd that we saw so much of in the 90s. And a lot of what I sort of explained in my book is that a lot of the the um, sort of hateful talk that we're seeing now had its origins in that movement. And it, the the important thing to understand is that in the 90s, the people saying this stuff were, you know, uh, marginal figures like John Trockman of the militia of Montana and Bo Greitz. Uh, those kinds of figures were the ones sp spreading these conspiracy theories, and they were doing it to small crowds of people. Uh, now we have Glenn Beck repeating stuff that I swear I heard Linda Thompson say back in the 1990s. 90s, uh, and, and he's doing it to an audience of millions. And, and when uh, President Clinton started on the national stage, Rush Limbaugh was not anything like the national phenomenon he became uh, during the, the Clinton years. Now Barack Obama has Rush Limbaugh to deal with on a daily basis, as well as Glenn Beck. Uh, I mean, you right. can right there, you've got double uh, the burden that Bill Clinton ever faced, don't you? Oh, absolutely. And, and, you know, Limbaugh's audience wasn't anything the size in 93 and 94 that it is now. Um, so, yeah, it's a, a significantly greater sort of, uh, we call it, the, in the blogosphere, we call it the Wurlitzer, the right-wing Wurlitzer. And this refers to the sort of the uh, orchestrated talking point uh, machine that the right wing has put up. And so much of this is just, like I say, is provably false stuff. Everything from, you know... Uh, uh, him talking about uh, taking our guns away to the birthers to uh, the death panels, as you say. It's, uh, it's, it, it has an unhinging effect on the audience, and particularly when people uh, meet this, you know, start to believe this stuff. And it's, uh, it has a really toxic effect on the national discourse as a result. David Nywert, managing editor of CrooksandLiars.com, thanks for joining us. My pleasure.